Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is August the 25th, 2022. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link and a TCG player affiliate link with a Spreadshirt shop and also a Your Playmat discount code, as well as a Patreon link down below. And thanks to everyone who's joined my Patreon. It really, really means a lot to me because you guys help me create content on a daily basis. So thank you all very much. And before we go into today's Market Mover video, I wanted to share a message from today's sponsor, Kung Fu Poker. I'd like to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Kung Fu Poker. Kung Fu Poker is a free beginner friendly Texas Hold'em app that you can play anytime, anywhere with 100% play money. Log in daily to unlock ad-free bonus chips, spins, and more. Who doesn't love a poker game that is realistic for beginners to thrive in? Use code MAT for 30,000 free chips and start excelling in your poker skills with Kung Fu Poker today. Starting our loser section off here today with Fable of the Mirror Breaker from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card is down 6.17% from $17.67 to $16.58 for its market price, and its average price is $17.62. Next up on the losers list today is Torment of Hailfire from Hour of Devastation. This rare is down 6.53% from $18.84 to $17.61 for its market price, and its average price is $17.76. Next up on the losers section is Death Shadow, and this is the Secret Layer Series version of this card, down 6.60% from $22.42 to $20.94 for its market price, and its average price is $21.09. Next up on the list is Indomitable Creativity from Aether Revolt. This recent winner is now a loser today, down 7.53% from $14.48 to $13.39 for its market price, and its average price is $14.69. And we've got Soul Ring 1010 from the Secret Layer series, down 7.95% from $16.61 to $15.29 for its market price, and its average price is $14.40. Next loser on our list is Breath Stealer's Crypt from Visions. This reserveless card is down 8.11% from $12.94 to $11.89 for its market price, and its average price is $13.82. Next up on the loser section today is Jalem Tome from Antiquities. This card is down 8.50% from $17.18 to $15.72 for its market price, and its average price is $19.48. Island 416 from the Secret Layer series, down 12.73% from $11.31 to $9.87 for its market price, and its average price is $11.99. Our final loser of the day is Singing Tree from Arabian Nights, a reserveless card down 16.50% from $269.98 to $225.42 for its market price, and its average price is $439.97. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. We are going to start that list off here with Phyrexian. Alter, and this is the borderless version of this card from Double Masters 2022, up 5.96% from $37.24 to $39.46 for its market price, and its average price is $42. The regular version of this card from Double Masters 2022, sitting at $34.61 for its market price, and its average price is $38.26. And the etched foil version of this card is currently sitting at $53.74. And the Ultimate Masters reprint is sitting at $34.28 for its market price, and its average price is $47.77. The original version of this card from Invasion is sitting at $76.19 for its market price, and its average price is $70.14. 
Next winner on our list is Expropriate from Conspiracy Take the Crown. This card is up 6.20% from $26.22 to $27.90 for its market price, and its average price is $28.84. The Mystery Booster version of this card is sitting at $28.87 for its market price, and its average price is $28.25, pretty much the exact same price. Next is Wooded Foothills from Zendikar Rising Expeditions. This card is up 6.44% from $47.80 to $50.88 for its market price, and its average price is $52.92. The original version of this card from Onslaught is sitting at $74.46 for its market price, and its average price is $75.58. And the Cons of Tarkir reprint of this fetch land is currently sitting at $35.74 for its market price, and its average price is $40.19. And the other expedition, the original one from Battle for Zendikar, is sitting at $151.41 for its market price, and its average price is $178.25. And 25 cents. This card sees a ton of modern play right now in decks like four to five color Omnath, Burn, Crashing Footballs, as well as Blue Living End and Elves in the Legacy format. Next is Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, the borderless version of this card from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate, up again today 7.09% from $15.80 to $16.92 for its market price, and its average price is $19.90. The regular version of this card is currently sitting at $10.30 for its market price, and its average price is $10.75. This card sees a ton of legacy play right now in decks like Selesnya Depths, as well as Blue Zenith, and also four color control. And our next winner on our list today is another Zendikar Rising Expedition, and that card is Valica the Molten Pinnacle. It's up 7.47% from $27.05 to $29.07 for its market price, and its average price is $29.79. The original version of this card from Zendikar is currently sitting at $21.78 for its market price, and its average price is $22.52. And the launch promo version of this card is currently sitting at $22.82 for its market price, and its average price is $22.80. This card sees a ton of modern play right now in decks like Amulet Titan, Titan Shift, as well as Indomitable Creativity, and also 4-5 to five color Omnath. Next up is Black Market Connections from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate up yet again 7.58% from $22.57 to $24.28 for its market price and its average price is $27.50. The extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $22.16 for its market price and its average price is $26.64 making it around the same price as the regular copy. Sorceress Queen from Arabian Nights is up 16.35% from $229.03 to $266.48 for its market price, and its average price is $168.43. This card did have a cheaper reprint from 5th edition, and that version of the card is currently sitting at $0.98 cents for its market price, and its average price is $1, making it a much cheaper alternative to throw into a deck. This card also had its print run numbers disclosed, and there were only 31,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. And our final winner of the day is another Arabian Nights card, this time a reserve list card, Bazaar of Baghdad, up 25.43% from $1,995.95 to $2,503.54 for its market price, and its average price is $3,597.98. This card did have its print run numbers disclosed, and there were also only 31,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. This card does see a ton of commander play, but it sees most of its play in the vintage format in decks like Hogak, Dredge, Squee Hollow Vine, as well as Hogak Vine. But it's not just going up because it sees play, it's also a highly desirable card from a very rare set of Arabian Nights and the fact that it's also a reserveless card means that it's never going to be reprinted again so when someone buys it it tends to spike on the market and now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day and we are going to start that list off here with Keldon Firebombers from Prophecy. This old frame foil is up 11.77% from $29.57 to $33.05 for its foil market price, and its average price is $39.94. Next foil on our list is Cloth, 
Unrivaled Ancient from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This foil is up 12.77% from $12.45 to $14.04 for its foil market price, and its average price is $15.94. Next is Soul Link from Apocalypse, another old frame foil up 27.71% from $4.15 to $5.30 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.99. Next foil winner on our list is Mist of Stagnation from Judgment. This old frame foil is up 31.13% from $8 to $10.49 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.93. Next up on the list is Erdwall Illuminator from Shadows of Rannistrad. This foil is up 32.33% from $3.99 to $5.28 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.03. Next is Vera Descent Wisps from Shadow Moor. This foil is up 41.64% from $2.81 to $3.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.49. And the next foil winner on our list today is Fire Shrieker from Conspiracy. This foil is up 58.60% from $3.14 to $4.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.92. Next is Maggot Carrier from Plane Shift. This old frame foil is up 90.65% from $5.24 to $9.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.67. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. And also, shout out again to Kung Fu Poker for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave all their links in the description and as a pinned comment. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. But before I do that, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards were you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. And with that being said, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.